In our most recent Let's Play episode, we built this motorway in the style of a British motorway and we're still working on it, but I thought I would show you how I've done this. It's sunken into the ground and we've also started layering our trees alongside it. Though looking from this angle, I could have done this a little bit neater. So I'm going to show you how to do this today as well as three junctions for your cities. I'm going to be covering the dumbbell in interchange which you can see here as well as two types of roundabout interchanges we have this one which goes over the motorway and another that goes under it but given this map is pouring down with rain we're going to jump over to a fresh map and start building there and hopefully it will remain sunny because that will definitely help and here we are so what we're going to be looking at is building a motorway down this uh, straight here and the first thing that we want to do is do a little bit of terrain manipulation we're going to sink the motorway slightly beneath the terrain for this we've gone to a brush strength of 35 a brush size of about 200 and we're going to bring it down just a little bit um, possibly a little bit more than when we see this white section that should be enough we're now going to increase the brush strength and go to our level terrain tool and we're going to just run this all the way down the middle where we want our motorway to be. From here we're going to grab our dirt road. This should just give us a good idea as to what's straight and we're going to place down our motorway. I'm going to do this with a two space um, parallel mode. So we're going to run it about probably there and we're just going to run this all the way down the middle we can now delete these and we can expand this however we want we can do curves that's not really an issue we're just trying to find the the middle placement here so we'll just expand this all the way along and here we are this is the basic setup we've just sunk it down and from here we have our motorway and we're going to grab our terrain function again this time we're going to go to the slope terrain uh soften terrain tool sorry reduce our brush size to about 50 we're just going to run these all the way along either side so now we, we have this nice little sunken area for our motorway it does mean we have plenty of opportunities for running roads over the motorway where we see fit and that's going to be very useful in our junctions but one thing that's synonymous with UK motorways apparently is the use of trees and they use them for sound barriers and we have a habit of doing a couple of lines that are, what's the word, offset and so you have this kind of diagonal system appearing from it. Now I'm not going to do this for the whole video because it's going to take us forever but we'll, we'll quickly speed this up so that you can see the kind of effects that you get from this and then from here we can also do some more layers back should we wish but generally speaking these will only be on the banks you want plenty of space in case there's an accident or an emergency either side and there you are that is the fabulously british styled motorway the only thing is for this you do need the patience of a saint in order to do all of the these lines of trees so we won't be doing any more of that one thing i will also mention before anyone starts shouting out in the comments is that this is too wide for an english motorway normally they're they're pretty much jam packed close to one another so it, it would actually look more like this with a separator in between but we're we're keeping it apart because it's going to help with our junctions which we'll get onto now now the first system that we are going to cover is the dumbbell junction this is a pretty straightforward one really we just need to make sure that these are roughly the same height for the sake of this tutorial obviously quite often you'll be working with varying terrains but where possible try and keep the terrain roughly the same height for the junction and then you can build off of that later so we're just going to level this out we're going to do a, a little bit of a, well, a dumbbell shape 
surprisingly. Okay, so we've leveled out the ground and we also have our motorway placed down. So we're going to grab our dirt road for this. This is my preferred method for any kind of building of roads because we get the squares to give us an idea as to where everything is. And from here, we're just going to build up and I'm going to place the dirt road in the center here. We can actually delete the rest of these now. We just need a working center position. So from here, we're going to run this along to about 184 meters. And we're going to do the same on the other side as well. And then at the end of each of these sections, we're going to go out by five squares. And we'll also mark off where the fifth one is here as well. I'm gonna do this on both sides. And then from here, I'm going to delete these sections. At this point, we are going to do our circles, our roundabouts. So go to your curve tool mode. And then in each of the corners, we're going to click our first point and then bring it into the center point. Depending on which road you, you want to have running across, you can either go with and I, I recommend going with the separated either four divider road or you can go with one of the larger ones as well. But always make sure it's div divided. Um, so this will allow us to place it centrally. However, if you want to go with a medium road, in order to get it central, you're going to have to go to the uh, toggle the snapping off and try and find that yourself. Next, we're going to grab our motorway section and we're going to replace, I think I've done a mistake there. That looks like we're one too long. There we go, much better. Going to grab our motor lane and replace this on the outer section. I always find we get the smoothest curve. And because this is a, a UK motorway, we are actually driving on the other side of the road. So we're going to have to swap those around as well. I'm going to do this on both sides. Apparently I made the same mistake twice. Now at this point we have our dumbbell formed and we've just connected the center section of road with the other uh, side of the dumbbells. So this allows us to have transportation across the motorway into these where we will now do the on and off ramp. So these are really simple. We're just going to grab our one way highway lane and we're going to go from the cross section here can't think of a better way to put it. We're going to run the single lane all the way up to the road so that's parallel with the bridge. And then here we'll click with the simple curve enabled once. And we're going to run this down to about 100 and really it's your choice. 174 looks quite smooth. And we're going to do the same this side. They may not look exactly the same because it depends on the distance from the road to the top section. If anything slightly off, it's going to, to skew if it. Same with any differentiation in height. But here we have our first section. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. And here we are. So we have smaller roads that can come onto this. And you can also do the same with larger roads if you wish. We're going to remove these dirt tracks, otherwise we're going to have vehicles trying to cross over. And then the last thing to do is on a junction like this, I like to get rid of any crossings because you're not going to want people in most circumstances crossing by a motorway. But there you are. That is a standard UK dumbbell junction or intersection. And if you just want to clean this up, perhaps you'll want to use your terrain tool just to smooth this out a bit more where you'll have your trees. But yeah, pretty simple. So we're going to reset this now and we're going to do another junction for you. We'll do the oval roundabout, which is probably the next easiest one. So give me two moments. Okay, so we are ready for our next junction. This one's going to be the roundabout that goes over the motorway. Often this looks more like an oval rather than a roundabout. But to start off with this, we are going to grab our gravel road. We're going to run this out and then along. It doesn't really matter how far you run it along because um, we're going to delete it in a moment anyway. And we're going to do the same along here as well. Now that we've got this, we're going to enter our parallel road mode with the two lane one way highway. And we're going to make sure that the interval is set to 12. 
we're just going to run this directly across and make sure that it's at a 90 degree angle for this. From here, we can remove our gravel lanes and we're going to return to the two lane motorway and we're going to bring that down to the floor. We're going to do the same on the other side as well. And we're going to grab our dirt road again. I'm just going to run the dirt road straight across on either side. And we're now going to set the dirt road to parallel mode once again and up to 12 on the interval. We're going to grab this center section and we're going to go out by 96 meters and we'll do the same on this side as well. And we're going to remove the parallel mode and just close these off. And from here, we can delete what we've just done with the exception of this long lane. At this point, we're going to grab our two way motorway again. We're going to enter the curve mode and you can deactivate your parallel mode. And from here, we're just going to bring this around 60 meters meters is fine. Take it to the center section, do the same. And we're just creating this, this oval at the moment. Do the same on the other side. It doesn't need to be perfect, but here we can see where we're going to be wanting to bring our roads in. Now for this, if you're using a one way system, maybe with these roads, we're going to set it to parallel and four intervals apart. And you can see that from here we have the four squares apart. So we know where the center section is, which is why we had this. So we can remove that now and we can do this the other side as well. And we have now got our cross section. So we can have maybe a city over here or maybe an industrial estate over this side. And you can join these up with a, a larger road should you wish. And so now we can work on connecting this to the motorway. Next, let's look at the on and off ramps. So for this, we're going to grab our gravel road again. We're going to run this just off at a 90 degree angle, and we're going to run straight across the motorway all the way across the gravel road once more. From here, we're going to about one square from the motorway place down another gravel road going out to 48 meters. We can do this on both sides and we'll do the same over here. Next, we're going to grab our motorway single one-way ramps and we're going to go about 32 meters from the end of each of these with the curve mode enabled and bring them in at about 16 meters like so. And we'll do the same over here. Next, we can make sure that these are going in the right direction and we can delete the rest of these now. Now that we've got rid of our gravel roads, we can once again grab our one-way lanes, enter the curve mode, and this time we're going to run a straight line just before the bridge. We're going to click that and we're going to merge these just slightly after the, the bridge finishes. And we'll do it from this end again as well. And then once you're done, you should have your motorway as well as on and off ramps, your roads going off to wherever your city is or industrial area. I do tend to remove any junctions and any traffic lights, though this is down to your own prerogative. But there you are. Now the next junction that we're going to cover is the roundabout that goes beneath the motorway. And what we'll probably do is set this up in this direction so that we're actually going to place the junction underneath in this section here. And we can either have another motorway connection though I wouldn't recommend it because it is a roundabout or you could have your main roads between your cities here. Okay, so this is going to be our overhead motorway for this one and we're going to start off by grabbing our gravel road. You will notice that we have a lot more space to play around with for this one as it does tend to be a fair bit bigger. And we're going to take this gravel road all the way up through the middle section. We're trying to find the, the cross section for where we want this junction to be. And I'm going to say that it can be about here for this one. From here, we're going to have a 32 meter box, which means we should have a three by three square in the center. So let's just delete this center section and there you go. And we're going to make sure for this that we have five boxes out from the center on each side as well. From here, we can do our circle. But before we do that, we're going to want to go from the 
edge here, each of these edges. We're going to go diagonal at three boxes. And then from here, we're going to run this 72 meters straight. We'll do this on each side like so. From here, we can do now our circle. And there we are. We're going to replace this with a two or three way highway. Again, push it to the outside in order to get the closest circle possible. And we're going to turn this the other way around because it is a British motorway. And then from here, we can have whichever roads that we want. Say, for example, this one coming out from the center. Same over here. And at this point, we are going to be doing the motorway. We'll start in the center here. We're actually just going to be slightly offset in order to get the right position, as you can see here. So it's just on the inner section of this middle block here. And we're going to lift this up by one and run that straight across. And then from here, we should be able to connect that without any issues like so and now you have your motorway running across the top of what's going to be our roundabout next we're going to do the on ramps but if you are finding this video helpful please do hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe for more cities skylines 2 content really loving the game and looking forward to sharing more guides and gameplay with you so for this we are going to now grab our on ramp and we're going to run this 48 meters is about right. And we'll do the same on each of the sides. And then from here, we're going to go from this section just before the dirt road. We're going to go to the end. And then from here, we're going to connect at this slip road at about 137 meters. I give it a fair amount of space because we don't want any traffic backing up from here for whatever reason and causing problems with the on and off ramps. And then from here, all we need to do is change this section of gravel road into a highway going in the right way. And we're also going to upgrade the section here to a two-way motorway. I quite often prefer longer distances. You can, you can actually switch this around so you have your shorter section here and then a longer on-ramp further along. But this is nice and symmetrical and once you've got all of your on and off ramps in the right direction the next thing is to go down into the junctions themselves we're going to remove the traffic lights and the crossings as well as these dirt roads in the center the other thing that i should mention before we finish off is also to make it so that there are no right turning. The same goes for this side. And I think that does it for that. Next, you can connect this to the rest of your motorway or to your city again, another industrial estate. But that is how you do the under roundabout. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next one. And uh, perhaps we'll work on that next. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're wondering what to watch next, why not check out my one tile city here? We have over 7k population at the moment. It's a pretty epic slum, which is making us cash. So well worth checking out. I'll put a link to that now. But until next time, special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our Solar Clips patrons, James Irwin, Five Less and Treble, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben Star, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the Souch and Husky. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.